y'all. Happy Tuesday. Sorry for the lighting. The sun is like on this side. Whatever. How y'all doing? I know it's been a minute. A hot, hot, hot minute. As y'all know, like I, right now, I'm trying to find balance. I'm trying to figure out, you know, what direction I want to go with my channel. Every time I think I want to do something, I don't do it. And y'all, I literally, like, I social media plan every Sunday. And every Sunday, I've been writing that this is the videos that I'm going to do this week for YouTube. And I do none of them. Sorry. But yeah, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. I haven't vlogged in a while. I wanted to do a day in the life of an entrepreneur. For those of you guys who do not know, I have my own credit repair company. I started it back in August or so. Um, and at this point, I'm actually getting ready to scale big time. So I use these first couple of months to really like, I don't want to call my first set of clients test clients because they're not test dummies or anything like this is their real credit. And I've been sending off real letters and getting real results. Um, but I'm the type of person where I don't want to grow exponentially before I know my company is ready. Um, you know, making sure that email systems and text message systems and automated these kind of things are set up. Um, I wanted to make sure all of that stuff was set up properly before I start to scale. So I'm actually on my way to pick up some things from my office because I have local clients who they um, mailed, not mailed, they dropped their mail off to me at the office. My clients get a lot of response letters from their creditors, from the bureaus and stuff like that. And although I have a way for them to upload it into their client portal, a lot of them allow it to stack up and then they get overwhelmed. So then they want to drop it off. So I'm going to go pick that up. And then I also got a scale delivered to me because I was using an online mailing service to mail my letters off. And it's been a great thing. Um, and honestly, in the very beginning of me starting this, because I initially started it two years ago and closed it down due to all of the, you know, personal drama. If y'all follow my channel, y'all know what's up. Um, I did. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't doing too much initially as far as investments go. So now that, you know, I know that this is what I'm going to be doing. I got me a big boy printer this past weekend. I'll show you guys that because I needed something that could print really, really fast. That was really high quality. So I'll be printing off my own letters. And so I need the scale because a lot of my letters are, you know, 30 pages, 15 pages, you know, that kind of thing. So I have to make sure that I have the scale so that um, I can do all of my postage and stuff from the house as well. So I'm almost at the office. So I will see y'all when I get there. All right, y'all. So I am here. I actually have a virtual office. They call it a virtual office, but um, yeah, I have an office in Westport Plaza. And it's kind of like a central location, so it really works. I don't really have to come here very often because I don't get too much mail, but it works for what I need it for. Hi. I have a pickup question, Amber. Okay. Or your financial solution. You're One picking up mail? Yes. Okay. I should have mail, and I think I got a scale delivered here, too. Yeah, you have package as well. And then um, someone dropped off a ton of mail for you. Yes, all the mail. I think this is from two clients and then my scale is right here in the middle. Since I have it all in one, I can actually scan all of these letters into the client portal. Because normally when they do it, you know, they're keeping the originals and then I get the copy, you know, because they're scanning it in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open all of these for each of the clients and I'll just scan it all into one document for them so that they can actually keep a record of it inside of their client portal. So I think I'm going to go to the post office next. I feel like I want to stop at Sam's on my way back because I actually ordered a 500 count of envelopes. Um, because they're only like maybe 10 or $11. However, it's not coming until Friday. And I have like, I've already printed off probably, I don't even know how many letters. I printed off a lot yesterday and I need to print off a lot today as well. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and get another batch of them and kind
kind of go from there and I probably need to get some flat envelopes as well because some of them are too thick possibly to put into a regular envelope so we're gonna see Okay, y'all, I'm home now and I set the scale up and I also cleaned out this cart that I have. Um, sorry, I didn't vlog it. My office phone is down here. I don't ever really have it hooked up very much because people have to schedule consultations in order to talk to me. <laughs> that just makes sure that I can stay like as efficient as possible and not have random calls coming through and everything. Sorry, my heater is on. I also have my budget planner down here and some other notebooks. My Canon camera's down there. No, there's nothing in this one. I also recently bought another camera. I'll show y'all that another time. And then up here at the top is where I put the envelopes. I got all the envelopes up here. And then these are some of the letters that have to go out. Say hi to my friend, y'all. Say hi, girl. They can't hear you, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> and then I do have, um, this is kind of like my little office set up inside of my room. I was about to do an import and forgot that the girl had re-imported her credit report herself 26 days ago. And it's due today. So what I did was I just pushed out her import to Monday because four more days is going to be Saturday and I don't work on Saturday. So I'm going to just do it on Monday. So only thing I need to do today is just getting all of these letters out. So I'm going to let y'all see me in the process of getting these letters and stuff together after I figure out how to do it in the computer part first. All right. So here is my new printer. So I'm having to try to do some test envelopes real quick. So let me see if I just do it like. I think I'm gonna do it this way like that. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty cool. So it's asking me how I set the printer up. And I don't remember if it's face up or face down. I think I made them face down. Let's see. No, they are face up. So, but if they're face down, what if I do this that way? Like that. Confirm the printer settings. I didn't think it was going to test all of them. Oh, maybe it just tested two. Okay, that did not work. So as you can see, it tested on the wrong side. All right, so I'm gonna test it again. And this time, I wanna make sure I don't show my client's information. It did print correctly. So now I know to just put them in this way. I might have to like put a little sticky note in here for me to remember how to put them in because I'm gonna probably forget, at least for the first couple of times. So let me go ahead and print these out and we're gonna start stuffing them. Okay, so I am going to start folding these so that I can put them into the envelopes. So for this particular client, this client is in round five, and so is the other client that I'm going to be sending letters off for. So because they are so far in at this point, because I, I not only send letters to the three bureaus, I also send letters to the secondary bureaus as well. But because they have been in for so long and because they don't upload their responses for me in their portals, I'm not going to continue sending it to, mailing it at least to the third party bureau. So let me close my door. So um, there's a couple of secondary bureaus where I'm at least able to fax them. I'm okay with faxing them, but spending money on the mailing part of it and the clients are not uploading responses, so I don't know what's happening on those reports. 
I don't continue to do that after round four. And really after round four, it's best to just kind of stick with the bureaus at that point anyway. So some of these I had already folded up last night. Okay, so the biggest thing, and I might have to, I'm using the scale to make sure, yeah, so that one's one ounce. I'm trying to make sure I'm paying for the right postage, you know. y'all my friend is yelling <laughs> yes ma'am I didn't have the, I didn't have the headset in my ear because you listen to the toy <laughs> all of a sudden I heard hello <laughs> no I was over here um weighing them to make sure they were just an ounce basically So the thickest one, I think it's like, what, 17 pages or something? Well, eight pages front and back, and it's still an ounce, so. Why do I have to be all of that, though? I should be your sister. Your sister that you look up to, not your mother. This is cute. Yeah, <laughs> you're being recorded now. I ain't signed no consent form to be recorded. <laughs> not she ain't signed no consent form to be recorded. You have to cut it. <laughs> Did not use my voice for no nothing. Girl, back to the craft. <laughs> All right, that wasn't that bad. So, y'all, I want to update y'all. You can see here's the letters that I had to send off. They're very thick, right? So, I look, you are a business owner. Even in your business, you have to check your budgets, trim the fat whenever you can, you know? So, me mailing this stuff out myself, I took into account the cost of the postage, the cost of the envelopes, the cost of the toner or ink, and also the cost of the paper, right? Those 10 letters is about 76 pages of stuff, right? It cost me $9, and I think it was 63 cents for everything, everything total for those 10 letters. The online mailing service that I was using... I uploaded those same 10 letters, would have cost me $21.74. I have saved myself 55%. Now, granted, I did not take into account the time that it takes for me to, you know, print it out, which that thing prints 33 pages per minute. So it really only took about two, three minutes to print all of those pages. So that's nothing. It did not take me very long to fold. It did not take me long to stuff them and to just peel off the strip and, you know, seal it down. So saving myself 55%, honey. Basically, I'm only going to use the online mailing service when I'm out of town at this point, you know, on vacation, whatever. But um, I'm going to be mailing myself. So I'm actually about to put it in the mailbox because... I did not schedule for a pickup today since I just got the scale and everything. Um, no, did he just come? Y'all, he normally don't come this early. Oh no, I think he has to double back around. All right, I'm back in the house. I'm actually going to take my contacts out. I broke my um, glasses a couple months ago and I finally got some new ones except I didn't get them at I have really 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 terrible sight y'all like I'm talking my glasses are thick 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 so don't judge me when you see them on <laughs> but um one of the things that was helping was since last January I started primarily wearing my glasses in the house and it helped with my sight so 
the glasses that I had broke were like 10 years old. So I couldn't really see very well out of them, but it was a good thing because it helped my eyes to like relax because when you have such a very high power, your eyes are just always kind of like almost like stressed out, I guess you could say. So I got some new glasses because my other ones were like 10 years old, 10 plus years old. So these are still like not even my full prescription, but got to wear them because my eyes are starting to hurt from wearing my contacts for the couple hours I've had them on. Oh, and just so y'all know, if you wear glasses, but you need um, like, uh, what do you call them? Blu-ray protection that's not built into your glasses. They actually have some clip ons. That's what I have on here, some clip ons. And you can use those. I'll link them down in the description box. So at this point, I have done everything that I need to do for my clients. So I'm going to go through all of this mail that my clients ended up sending me, um, kind of put everything together so I can scan it into their portals. And after that, I think I'm going to take some time to start getting some of my tax stuff together because I'm probably going to get a refund for one of the last years ever this year. So I kind of want to at least start getting that stuff together for my tax preparer. And that's it. So there's a couple other things I'm probably going to show you guys, but let me get this stuff together because it's going to take me a while to get through all these letters. Okay, y'all. It is 6.30 at night. 6.30, okay. And I have decided... I have decided that I am no longer going to allow my clients to drop mail off if they do it's going to have to be some kind of processing fee because I have spent hours opening up each piece of mail going through each one seeing what's relevant what's not if anything had any personal identifying information on there I automatically put it into a shred pile then if there was no personal information on there I put it into a discard file so I knew I could go straight into the trash can but then so okay after i did that everything that was relevant i had to scan it to my computer take it take the file from the computer compress it upload it to their dropbox then upload it into their client portal and then i still had to shred all of that so literally you guys i have a full trash bag full of trash and mind you again this is only from two clients imagine if the rest of my local clients I allowed to do this I can't I can't I literally I can't because at this point it's it's about the fact it's time like first of all of course if I didn't have to go through stuff from I mean this is literally like months worth of stuff so that doesn't help but it's like if you just if you open things as they come you won't be overwhelmed with uploading them. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, I that's my last time. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not. My work day is supposed to end at 4. And again, it's 6.30. So this is how much just shredded stuff I have. This does not include another bag of just like papers that I, yeah, not doing. Not doing. So yeah. Uh, at this point, I am done for the day. I have gotten everything done. The only thing I have left to do is just like personal stuff. Uh, but yeah, my day basically started this morning around 11 o'clock and it's ending at 630. So this is a day in the life and I might do more of these, probably like some weekly vlogs every now and then. Um, you guys will see my February budget pretty soon probably sometime next week and I'm going to start uploading like different type of content outside of budgeting. So for those of y'all who want to stay, stay. For those of y'all who don't, I'm sorry, but I cannot keep doing just budget videos. I can't do it. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Please thumbs up this video, subscribe if you haven't already. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.